Does anybody here like work in an office? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. There is nothing that kills creativity like a cubicle. Like just putting it in a box is not fun. But we have casual Fridays, and what I realize is like I don't know how to still be professional on casual Fridays. Like something about denim just releases all of my sarcasm and it's really hard to keep it together. Like this lady comes in and she's got her dog with her. This is like this ugly little, it, it smells, it's not cute. She says, is it okay if I have her in here? And I was like, why can't people do anything without their pets? Like why do you need them around every second? It's definitely not a seeing eye dog. It looks pretty useless. <laughs> and so she's like, is it okay if it's in here? And like, Monday through Thursday, Jasmine would have been like, oh, that's fine, ma'am. How can I help you? But like, Friday, Jasmine left all her give a shits in her dress pants. So I'm like, well, it really doesn't matter if it's okay. Clearly, she's here. How can I help you? Like, oh, no. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's like, no, I don't like your dog. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not. Uh, it's hard. It is hard acting enthused about things, especially dating. Dating for me is just not a lot of fun because there's so much work that goes into it. Like, you know how hard it is to like pretend to laugh at a guy's jokes when you're three spanks deep and you're trying to hold him apart? <laughs> like, I'm literally crushing my ribs to be cute for you right now. And this is what you're bringing to the table. I'm over it. And then if you actually do get to know someone and you get to like them, then there comes a part where you like maybe eventually sleep over. And that's the moment of truth. And black women know what I'm talking about because there's a there is a head wrap process. <laughs> there, there is there is a system of checks and balances that go into making sure you don't look a mess in the next morning. So, like I have to go to bed with this like Aunt Jemima headscarf going on. I may or may not have the mustache wax on. I just want I want a guy who's okay waking up next to Tupac. And I'm just gonna call it a day. <laughs> that's what I'm bringing to the table. It's so, it's so hard. So I'm just going to enjoy the single life because the best part is you don't have kids. Woo! Who's got kids? Who's got kids? Woo! Kids? Parents? I'm sorry. But I'm glad you got a sitter. Like, you win there. That's awesome. That is awesome. I, I, I feel so bad for people with kids because it's essentially it's a huge responsibility. My best friend told me she was pregnant and I was just like, damn, I lost another one. I have so, there have been so many casualties and pregnancies in my life, and I just don't understand why it keeps happening. We gotta fight this. Like there should be, there should be like rallies and pledge drives to end pregnancy. At least like, and people under 25. Love you to death, but we're not good decision makers. Like when you see a kid with five hyphens in their name, that was the creative choice of someone under 25. It made perfect sense then. Uh, so my best friend tells me she's pregnant, and I was just like, why? Why? Because. Her situation, she did not know this guy that well. And she was like, well, you know, I liked him. And I was like, why 